Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 61 YouTube videos covering beginners level, intermediate level and advanced level concepts of Tricentis Tosca. From couple of days onwards, I have started teaching you the real-time scenarios where you might encounter different types of obstacles and how can we solve those obstacles while automating your test cases by using Tricentis Tosca. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Don't forget to like and share the video. This is our lesson 62 in terms of overall Tricentis Tosca automation tutorial and this is our obstacle 20 in terms of real-time scenarios. In this lesson, I am going to teach you how can we solve an obstacle by using random mathematical operations and evaluation tool for calculations while automating your test cases. Now let us go to obstacle list and understand what is the obstacle that we need to solve for in detail. This is our obstacle which is named as math and which is categorized as hard. So let us go for it. Please complete the operation listed below and enter it in result box. Okay. So here you can see it as very simple but it's not that simple. Okay. It is hard. Okay. Why? Because these numbers are dynamic in nature. Not only numbers, your operator or operand also a dynamic in nature. Okay. So let me just click on try again. So if you click on try again, see now your operator is plus 7 plus 11. Let's try again. Now your operator is mod 38 mod 10. Right? So you have four different operations. One is multiplication, which is see here. This is your multiplication, right? 23 multiply 20. And you have addition and you have subtraction and you have mod. Okay. So the you so your operator is dynamic and your random number one, random number two also dynamic. So now you need to automate this particular test case to print the correct result based on the operator and based on the random numbers. So how can we do that? Let us go to Tricentis Tosca. As usual, what we are going to do? We are going to start scanning all. The, we are going to start scanning the objects for this particular scenario. Right click on obstacle folder, select scan, select application. So this is my application, select the application and click on scan. It opens your X scan. Now what are the objects that we would like to scan? One is random number one, random number two, your operator and your result edit box, right? So for that, so here I can see random number one, this is my random number one. And this is my operator and this is our random number 2 and this is the result where we are going to enter. Right? So we captured all the objects that are required to automate our test case. Now let us rename this module with the name of your obstacle. Copy this and rename the module and save the module. And close your X scan. Let's go back to Tricentis Tosca and you can see this is our obstacle. This is our module that we captured, the last one. Double click on this. See here I can see random number one, two operator result. So I would like to rename this. Instead of 36, I'm going to name this as random number one. 
and this is our operand right operator operand and this is my random number two right and this is result so i've renamed them now let us go back to our left side test case section so under obstacle folder like right click on test case folder and create new test case name this as the obstacle name right once that is done now let us double click on this particular test case and now let us automate our test case for so that drag this and drop on to your test case drag the module and drop on to your test case okay so once we drop on to the test case now what we need to do we need to capture this random number into a buffer you need to capture this second random number also into a buffer and also we need to capture the upper end also into a buffer so hence here what i'm going to do i'm going to enter a buffer name called random one this is my buffer and action mode becomes buffer and this is my operand operand i'm going to say and capture the same into buffer and this is my random two and capture this also into a buffer so we captured the values into a buffer now what we need to do to enter the value into result based on the operator your result will be published right so that means we have four different operators let's do first for the addition that means you have to perform mathematical operation based on your operator so what we need to do we have to use if condition if operator is plus write your math condition if operator is minus and you need to wrath you need to write math function for subtraction if operator is multiplication you need to write math function for multiplication in the same way for mod so for that let's go back here now into the module what we need to do here we need to introduce if else condition right so what i'm going to do right click on this particular test case right click on this and you need to call for create if statement select this one if what is the condition to evaluate the operator right i need to evaluate the operator first if my operator is plus do addition so like that i need to define for all four different operators let us go back here under condition i would like to use one standard module to evaluate the expression what is that control t t box evaluation tool select this t box evaluation tool and here i would like to use the action mode as verify because i'm going to verify what is the operator right what i'm going to do here under expression i'm going to call the buffer where i'm storing the operator open curly braces capital b operand open square braces open curly braces so if here for any t box evolution right so when you are using your t box evolution tool under expression i would recommend you guys to use single quotes remember that under expression you need to use single quotes if my buffer equal to again single quotes plus i'm verifying if my buffer value is equal to plus 
I am verifying this. If this is plus, because my here you can here I can see this expression has plus. I am going to write one condition for plus. Okay, addition. If my operator is plus, then drag this module onto this condition. If operator is plus, now I need to write the math expression for addition where under result. So what I am going to do here, open curly braces, math function, I am calling math function. What is math function? I am going to write everything under these square braces. Call my first buffer, random number 1 plus random number 2, right? That is my math function because your operator is plus. So to call my first buffer, open square braces, capital B, open, sorry, open curly braces, capital B, open square braces, random 1, close square braces and close curly braces. This is my first buffer. Plus, open curly braces, capital B, open square braces, random 2. This is my second buffer. Close square braces, close curly braces. Done. And then, close your math function. That's it. So here, I have, I have written one condition. What is that? If my operator is plus, perform addition math function. Now save this one. Let me run this my first condition. Okay, right click because I can see here it has plus symbol. That's why this formula works for me. Now let me run this particular entire test case. Right click and run in scratch book. You now your 36 plus 13 is 49, right? That means whatever the expression we wrote for my first condition which is addition is correct. Now you can see the operator got changed to multiplication. So that's why I need to repeat this if condition four times. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to paste the same thing three times. So total four conditions. Now let me expand. Now let me expand second condition. So here if my expression is multiply, right? Here my math condition, my math expression becomes multiply. Perfect. This is my second condition. If operator is multiply, perform multiply operation. And now the third one. If my operator is subtraction, right? So here minus and do subtraction. Done. Now my fourth condition is mod. Open this. If the operator is mod and then perform mod operation. Perfect. So now we are ready with all our four conditions. Right? So, so now let us change this work state as completed. Save the test case. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to run the same test case here now. I'm, let us run the test case multiple times to make sure it works for all the operators. Right click and run. 
earlier the operator was plus now the operator is multiply see your multiplication operation is successful let me retry again so now you can see your operator is subtraction let me run the test case again so it goes to your third condition because your operator is subtraction so it entered correctly now your operator is mod so let me run this again now it should go to your fourth condition if operator is mod perform mod right click and run see which is successful so let's go back to my test case and let me explain again okay what we did so what we have done first we have simply dragged and dropped our module where i am storing the random number 1 random number 2 operator into buffer that's it in the first step and in the second step we are using if then else condition if my operator is i am using t box evaluation tool under condition right i am evaluating the expression if my operator is plus then what i did under then condition under then i have again dragged and drop my module and i have defined a math function for sum for addition by using the buffer values that we stored in earlier step right so now i have repeated the same if then condition three more times for three different operators and publishing the result based on the operator or writing the math function based on the operator so i have defined all the math expressions for four different operators and entering the result into your result edit box hope you all understand the concept if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you so you all understand how can we solve an obstacle by using random mathematical operations evaluation tool for calculations while automating your test cases by using tricentis task please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos don't forget to like and share the video thank you